In today's video, we're playing a blazing fast combo deck from the very first modern Pro Tour. I'm talking about Blazing Infect. Blazing Shoal plus Ink Moth Nexus equals instant death. It's gonna happen in this video. Let's go check out the deck list. Fun fact, this deck was actually banned out of Modern, which means that we're playing it in Legacy today. Well, what card in particular was banned? It was actually Blazing Shoal. For X, red, red, or you can exile a red card from your hand and then X is equal to that spell's mana value. Target creature gains plus X plus zero, where X is, you know, that spell's mana value. I already said that. Anyway, we're looking to combine that with Ink Moth Nexus, since Ink Moth Nexus has Infect, so does Blighted Agent. So will be 11 infect damage your opponent instantly dies combo well you know it is you know a combo deck so we want some consistency so we're playing the cantrip cartel brainstorm ponder and preordain so 12 ways to make this combo happen and while those cards also find pact and negation to protect her combo or the you know the classic cards like days or force of will Reaper King and Progenitus are strictly in the deck to exile to Blazing Shoal. That said, they do pitch to Force of Will as well in a pinch. That is pretty much the main deck. In the sideboard, we have Playline of Sanctity to protect you from Grief and other various discard, Force of Vigor for the Chalice of the Void matchups, Pithy Needle to protect you from Wasteland, Wasteland for opposing Wastelands that you can find off of your crop rotation. Baracus, you know, answers Lavinia and things like that, Gristlebrand, and then Bazooka Bog. That is what this deck does. It's pretty linear, it's powerful, and that's what we're doing today. So if you're into infecting people into the dirt, stick around and check out the first match. I'm sure you're gonna love it. I'll see you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. We are on the draw in match number one. We have a hand that's a turn to win if I can find a blazing shoal. So we're going to keep this. We have brainstorm plus a pair of fetch lands. We have the ink buff nexus. Even if I don't get the turn to win, this hand does, you know, have a lot of consistency in what we're looking to do here today. Our opponent plays a volcanic island. Not too shocking when their username is unbanned Oko and Labe. All right, we find another land. I'm going to play the Ink Moth, pass the turn. They play a Scalding Tarn, and they're going to send it back. We'll just play Flooded Strand and pass the turn. Okay, they've missed their land drop. Come on, Blazing Shoal. We find a Preordain. So I'm going to fetch first here just to thin. We can grab Tropical Island, and then let's Brainstorm. They're thinking on the brainstorm, it resolved. We'll put back the progenitus and the land. Let's fetch. I mean, if I can find the blazing shoal, they have a, I have a lot of protection here. I guess that's what I want to say. We'll grab the basic and play preordain. Find a blighted agent. I'm going to bottom, gonna keep, if they find wasteland, it's gonna hurt, but I just need the shoal at the moment. I'm gonna bottom the agent. All right, well, we found another Ink Moth. I'm glad I didn't keep the uh, Blighted Agent out of fear. They played a Lotus Petal, so they're likely on Sneak and Show. We'll draw for turn. Another Force. Play the Ink Moth. Now I don't know which one uh, was the one that was originally in play. There's no way for me to know. I could attack for one here. I'll pass. They have land number four. Well, mana number four, I should say. They have six cards in their hand. The Jiri Step. I'll play the Misty Rainforest. I suppose I can hard cast a Force of Will now. I could attack with the Ink Moth Nexus the old fashioned way, but I don't think the game's going to end like that. And I'd have to lose hard cast Force of Will. These Dazes are no longer cards we're really interested in. I'm going to fetch. They fetch in response. Sure. We'll grab another tropical and I will hard cast a force of will. Okay, we have hard cast force of will. Veil of summer. I will force of will exiling a daze. 
A Fluster Storm. Veil of Summer Fluster Storm main deck. This person's definitely looking to win the combo mirror. Okay. So I can daze. Uh, I can force pitch Progenitus, or I can force pitch Daze. So the question is, do you think that they're going to respond with a one mana spell, like a brainstorm or something? I'm going to force of will exiling the days. Oh, I definitely messed that up. Um, well, I guess I knew that they didn't fluster on my force. I think they messed up. They should have went after both my forces because then they could have drawn a card off Veil vale of Summer. So they left some equity on the table there. I didn't actually mess up. I, I guess I messed up if I had realized what my opponent had done or maybe it would have been different. I don't know. Blighted Agent. Okay, we're going to start animating these. We're going the distance. We're going for speed. Not really. This is uh, turn six here. <laughs> All right, pass the turn. They're passing. We have drawn the Reaper King. Animate the Ink Moth. We will animate Ink Moth. Swing. Uh, bummer. I was reading Reaper King. I'm like, I don't know what the actual ability of this card is. It's whenever another Scarecrow enters, which is super unfortunate. Because if it itself destroyed a permanent when it entered, it would be very good against Show and Tell. They have four cards in hand. We find another Blighted Agent. I mean, I could just play two Blighted Agents this turn. We'll pass. They found a Ponder. I don't like this. They did not shuffle. There's a sneak attack. They activate the sneak attack. Atroxa. We are super dead here. Okay, we will go to the next game. So not finding Blazing Shoal was the death of us. We went 33% of the way through our deck and did not find it. Okay. We want Fluster Storm. We also probably want Surgical. I'm not as sure about that one. We don't need Sajiri Step. Actually, I don't think I'm going to board in Surgical. And then we'll board down one crop rotation. Let's try this. Game number two, we're on the play. So I have Ink Moth, Blazing Shoal. I don't have land number two or the large creature. I think I'm actually going to send this one back. The double pack denegation is not ideal. I think that this is better. We will keep this. Bottom of fetch land. Play the Polluted Delta. Grab a Tropical and let's preordain. I think I'm going to keep the Fluster Storm here. Pass. Defense Grid. Now I feel foolish for keeping this Fluster Storm. Okay, well, we have a win next turn. Question is, do I get a next turn? Let's play Preordain. I probably didn't need to keep the Force of Will, but it's kind of free to do so here. We'll Crop Rotation. Grab the Ink Moth and hope that I'm not dead. Ideally, they would just go land pass here. Okay, that's good. We'll play the Misty. Animate the Ink Moth. Go to Combat. Swing. I do not have any blocks. I will now cast Blazing Shoal on Ink Moth Nexus, exiling Progenitus. 11 poison. They fetch in response. And they're going to fetch. And it looks like my decision here to keep the Force of Will is somewhat relevant. I mean, I did draw the land I would have needed for the Fluster, but I don't know. I, th I think it was a fine choice. Fluster their Force. All right, so we've got to do the thing once now. Let's see if we can do it again in game number three. That was sweet. I mean, do I, I might actually want Caracas. Yeah, I probably do. Why didn't I board that in previously? I probably should have. Um, let's take out the Pact Negations. Well, two of them at least. Let's try this. It's a very reactive hand. Our opponent's taking a mulligan. I'm going to try it. Turn one Scalding Tarn for a Ponder. You got it. I'll do my best Bosch and Roll impression right now. Island Ponder Keep. It's not a very good one, but that's what I've got. All right. There's our red creature to exile to Blazing Shoal. Grab a Tropical Island and let's Ponder. I think keeping this would be a mistake. Like having double force is obviously nice, but I need to execute my game plan as well. Also, what a great draw. So now I just have to find an Infect creature. We play Beseju. I'm going to daze this defense grid. Okay, they have three cards remaining in their hand. We draw Reaper King. 
Didn't need another thick creature, but we do have Brainstorm. We also, you know, it's a blue card for Force of Will. There's other cards that list that I researched were playing that weren't both blue and red. And I couldn't figure out why they were actually playing those over a card that exiled the Force of Will. They have a City of Traitors. Three cards remain in their hand. Bladed Agent. That is a card that would end the game. So we will play it. So we have one force, they have three cards in their hand, four cards after their draw step. We do know that they're playing Veil of Summer. I will attempt a force of will here. And it worked. Okay. Counterspell. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. Get in there. And also, the fact that these are both blue and red coming up huge here. Blazing Shoal Exiling Progenitus. Easy game. Had it the whole time. I don't know why you doubted me after that game one. Blazing Infect, way too strong. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks i'm not sure if you're aware but this is a turn two win with triple backup i'm going to keep our opponent plays a basic swamp dark ritual liliana of the veil okay i'll discard a pact of negation here they discard a smallpox they have three cards that remain i'll play the ink moth nexus i'm doing what i can land number two Gothy Voidwalker. Yeah, I don't care about that. We will discard Brainstorm. They discard the Rack. Someone has been watching a lot of Phil Gallagher videos. All right, so I'll play the Island. Let's animate Ink Moth. Blazing Shoal on the Ink Moth. Now we'll go to combat. Attack them for lethal. Double backup still in hand. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. All right, so we definitely want the Ley Line of Sanctities here. I don't know if I love Pact of Negation. I could stop something like a Orcish Bowmasters, but I don't think it's likely that good here. We could leave one for Bowmasters. Also, is the Pox deck also a Wasteland deck? Because if so, Needle's not bad. Yeah, I think I want the Needles. What about one Reaper King? A lot of, well, I shouldn't say a lot. Some lists only play five cards to exile the Blazing Shoal. So, I mean, I wanted the extra consistency, so I played six tonight, but you don't necessarily need all six. I think I'm going to send this back. This is a hand. All right, I will keep bottom of Ley Line, and we'll put Ley Line into play. I need to draw a land. Womp, Dark Ritual. Liliana. Well, if I draw a land here, I can needle the Lily. I'm going to choose in my ability to draw a land. And I think I'm actually going to get rid of the other needle. Sudden Edict. I did not draw a land. They plus the Lily, I will discard a Force of Will. They discard another Sudden Edict. Oh no, I'm never going to draw a land, am I? They have a Mistress Factory, they plus the Lily. I will discard another Force of Will. They discard an Urborg. We drew the land. A little bit late, but I'll take it. Grab the tropical. Let's play Needle. We'll name Liliana of the Veil. Okay, so now I'm a Blazing Shoal and a large card away from victory. I actually need another land too. Smallpox. I'm going to just Force of Will this. They have one card remaining in their hand. We drew the land. Pass the turn. Looks like they're going to get in there with Mishra's Factory at this point. I go to 16. We drew an Ink Moth. They have another land. They animate the Mishra's Factory. So I think at this stage of the game, I'm looking to draw into a Brainstorm to convert this crop rotation. Okay, now I just need a Blazing Shoal. Let's animate the Ink Moth and attack them. So... They could have an Orcish Bowmaster, so I'm attacking now because if they do, I could then crop rotation out the Ink Moth. They have a castle. Okay, and they can actually activate the castle as well. Blazing Shoal, I would like to draw you. Pretty please. 
I go to 12 life. Preordain gives us a chance. I should probably fetch first here. Grab a tropical. Preordain. There it is. We will animate our ink moth. Go to combat. Attack you. No blocks. Blazing Shoal. Exiling Progenitus. We're 2 0. Three more matches left to go. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Let's see how we do in match number three. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Let's try to get another win here. We're on the play for match number three. This hand seems great. We will keep. So we have the Ink Moth Nexus. We're looking for Blazing Shoal and then a large creature. We'll play Tropical Island and Ponder. Not really interested in any of those cards, so we'll shuffle. And it's Blighted Agent. We play an Ancient Tomb, Curl Mox, Chalice of the Void on one. So this is interesting because like, Chalice on one really only counters our cantrips in this deck. I think I'm going to allow this to resolve, which might be crazy, but I think with them being on three cards now, and then I draw crop rotation, that was not ideal. Um, I don't know, I'm just on the force the cards that matter plan. Maybe that's nuts. Crop rotation also was not a good draw here. They play a land. Caves of Chaos Adventure. That is going to be forced. They have two cards. Another Bladed Agent. Okay, we'll play that out. Let's get in there for one. They have another land. Simeon Spirit Guide, you've got it. So this turn I can attack for three. Another force here is good. So I think my plan is to just attack over the next few turns and win. They have Stomp. I'm going to force that. All right, so they have no hand. They're in top deck mode. They attack with the Spirit Guide. I will go to 16. Blue card. Blue card. We will animate the Ink Moth Nexus. I did not see myself attacking this league for lethal the old-fashioned way. I really didn't. Swing, swing. They have seven poison. We have lethal on board. <laughs> yes! Letting Chalice Resolve worked out. Beautiful. I love it. So we probably want the Force of Vigors. Pact and Negation isn't at its best here. Would you rather have Pact and Negation or the Wasteland? I don't actually know the answer here. We saw that they're playing Stomp, so like Pact and Negation has text on. I think I'm just going to try this. Okay, so this is a potential turn to win if we can draw a creature. Uh, the large creatures in our deck, that is. They mulligan to five. And now down to four. Okay. There's the Ink Moth. They don't even need the crop rotation now. All we need is a large creature off the top rope. Uh, six out of 52. 11% according to my math. Via Google. <laughs> uh, Trinosphere. I'm going to force that. Exile this Brainstorm. Pretty please deck. Let's see it. No. Okay. I think I'm just going to pass here. Chalice of the Void on one. I will respond with a brainstorm. Unfortunately, the crop rotation is going to be useless moving forward. We'll play the brainstorm. Well, actually, crop rotation is not useless moving forward. All right. Uh, I'll put back the Tropical Island. And the Flooded Strand. I'll draw the Flooded Strand next turn. We're going to beat down. Only nine more turns after this one, I believe. I believe I can respond to the Fable Trigger. And then I'll force a Vigor both of these. Okay, well, in my head they didn't get the Goblin. Maybe I should have just dazed it. Because I think that was a punt. I was like, well, if I destroy with the Trigger on the stack, like thinking that I had an opportunity to stop them from getting the first chapter, which was just wrong. But I can always make up for it just by drawing a 10 mana card. Let's do that. Brainstorm. Cast it. Awkward. We'll put back double Blazing Shoal. 
Animate the Ink Moth. Let's get in there. Den of the Bugbear. They lose their City of Traitors. Chalice of the Void on one. I'm going to allow that to resolve. They attack. I go to 15. I have so many cards that win the game if I could just draw one of the six 10 mana spells. Draw for turn. Ay ay ay. Going for one. They take it and pass. Goblin Rabble Master, well, you can meet my days. They attack, we go to 12. Draw for turn. Force of Will. Animate the Ink Moth. Get in there. So next turn they can attack with Den of the Bugbear. Because they'll have four mana to activate it. So my time is running out. I really do need to draw one of those creatures immediately. I'm at 10 life. And they're just going to pass. Another Ink Moth. Animate. I should have animated first. Get in there. Dead gone. It doesn't actually do... Like, it doesn't change anything for me. Yeah, that happens. Now they can animate their Den of the Bugbear. So I'm getting hit for six here. This is my last draw step. Our top card is either a 10 mana value red card or it isn't. Would you look at that? Animate. Blazing Shoal on the Ink Moth Nexus. And we win. Our opponent concedes. We're 3 0. All right. Maybe this deck is a little bit more real than I thought. Let's find out if that's true in the fourth match. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. The fourth match, we are on the play. The last two times that I faced Will O'Neill, they've been on Delver variants. So let's keep that in mind. Here we have a pretty darn good hand. It just needs to find the Blazing Shoal. And well, and then a second land too. But we have Crop Rotation for the Ink Moth. We have the 10 mana red spell. These are, you know, all things I'm looking for. I think we're going to just start by grabbing the basic island and casting Preordain. Or maybe I should get the Tropical, but if they Wasteland the Tropical, maybe it works out. They've decided to keep five. Use the Flooded Strand. Grab a Tropical Island. Let's cast the Ponder. Or I'm sorry, Preordain. I think I'm going to bottom both of these. Find another Preordain. All right, well, it is not Delver. Chrome Mox. Broadside Bombardiers. Blood Moon. I think I'm going to exile Pact Negation here. They have two cards left in hand. Chalice of the Void on zero. My, my reputation precedes me. All right. I guess I can't Pact Negation anymore. Let's ponder. Looking for that second land. We missed. I mean, I could keep this and make sure that they don't do anything meaningful over the next couple turns. Maybe that's what's best here instead of just shuffling. Okay, pass. Part of me was thinking about taking a, a daze here instead of the fours, but if they draw a land and then have a three drop, I, I would just feel foolish. And instead they're going to pass. Let's preordain. We'll bottom both of these. Okay. Chalice of the Void on one. I don't think I'm actually allowed to let that one resolve. We can exile Progenitus. They still have two cards. Another Reaper King. Play the Brainstorm. I'm going to put back Reaper King and Ink Moth. And then I can Crop Rotation to Shuffle. It looks like they're passing. Okay, so we're currently a Blazing Shoal away from Greatness here. Grab the Ink Moth. Animate it. Swing, swing. They finally have one Poison. Den of the Bugbear. Caves of Chaos Adventure, well, that's going to be hit by a daze here. Come on, Blazing Shoal. Pretty please. Brainstorm. Okay, let's uh, try to get lucky here. No such luck. I think I'm going to keep the crop rotation as a shuffle effect for this next Brainstorm. Rather than keeping the daze. And I'll just pass here. No need to attack. They have a fifth mana. They animate the Den of the Bugbear. Sure. All right, on their end step, we'll fetch. I'm not going to brainstorm because 
if I wait, I get to see another card off the brainstorm. So I actually get to see four cards instead of looking at the same three. And now I'll cast the brainstorm. Wow. Ugh. That's uh, not what I wanted. We'll put back the two Reaper Kings. Play Ink Moth Nexus. Oh, I did it again. Uh, I think, I think it's the top one. Oh no, there's no real way. This is the worst. Ugh. I guess I couldn't win this turn anyway. But I guess I guessed right. Get in there. There should really be some sort of better user experience for that. Blood Moon. That's uh, pretty good here. I guess I'll crop rotation. Grab a flooded strand and then I'll fetch just the thin here. We have two forces left. And then a bunch of blighted agents. Play the brainstorm. I found a force. So we'll put Progenitus on top. Cast the force of will. The problem is I don't think I can actually win this. If I have to draw through the brainstorm, meanwhile my opponent has a den of the bugbear. Also, I've seen roughly half my deck and haven't found a blazing shoal. Swing, swing. All my opponent has to do to win this game is activate Den of the Bugbear twice. And they agree. Right, I know that I'm drawing a land, so we can't win this one. We'll go to game number two. Wow. Okay, so we need to draw better. We'll bring in the Force of Vigors. I guess we'll leave one pack to negation. I think just being a blue cart... I think the Wasteland's probably better than the Sejiri step. And I think just being a blue card is better than anything else currently in our sideboard. On the play. Sure, we'll keep. Our opponent has elected to keep their seven card hand. Ponder. So this is potentially a turn three win. We will pass the turn. Ancient Tomb. Chalice of the Void resolves. Play the Ink Moth Nexus. We'll pass. I will hard cast... Days on the Blood Moon. They have the Simeon Spirit Guide. So I can force a Vigor here and blow up both the Chalice and the Blood Moon, but I'm going to lose my 10 drop. That said, I have a Preordain on top of my deck, so I will get the Cantrip twice next turn. So I think I'm supposed to. Now we're drawing Preordain. Fetch for Tropical Island. Let's play Ponder because if I hit, I win. Shuffle those. Force of will anyway, let's preordain. Bottom both of these. Brainstorm. Pass the turn. City of Traders. Fable. Another Ink Moth. Let's cast the Brainstorm. There we go. Put back the two Ink Moth Nexus. Animate. Go to combat. Wing. They can't block. And I will pump my creature by exiling Progenitus to Blazing Shoal. Looks like we're going to game number three. I'm just going to resubmit here. Sure, this seems delightful. Keep. Our opponent has taken a mulligan. All right, let's battle. Chrome Mox. The Imprinte Shatter Skull Smashing. City of Traitors. Fable. Yep, you got it. They're going to be able to create mana. I don't think going after any of that would be worth it with the Force of Vigor. Instead, I'm just going to try to dig here for the missing combo pieces. We'll shuffle this. Agent's interesting because it allows you to beat Blood Moon, but we just have to find other stuff. Our opponent discards Blood Moon. Interesting. They tap the City of Traitors. Goblin Rabble Master. So they've decided that this game is about going beat down. They have one card in their hand. I'm going to be dying pretty quickly here, so I need to find Blazing Shoal plus a 10 mana spell. I actually have the 10 mana spell. Ignore me. I just need to find the Blazing Shoal. Force of Will. Let's play the Brainstorm. And we found the Blazing Shoal. So I guess I don't need Tropical Island this turn. And I don't need Reordain. Sure, I think that works. Play the Ink Moth and we'll pass. Fable transforms into Reflection of Kiki-Jiki. They have two cards. This is not quite lethal, so I don't know what our opponent could realistically have to stop me here. So the Rabble Master pumps itself. The Goblin will make a treasure. We're going to take nine damage, which, you know, is not 17, so I'm okay with this. And they just pass. 
Animate the Ink Moth. Go to combat. Swing, swing. Before damage, Blazing Shoal, Exiling, Reaper King. They play Dead Gone, I Will Force of Will, Exile a Preordain. Or no! I can't believe it. We are one match away from greatness. I really hope we get there. Stick around and find out if we do. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pinned comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. For the trophy, we are on the play in the fifth match. Unfortunately, I don't think we're allowed to keep this mulligan. This seems decent. Alright, we're going to bottom the Pact of Negation. We don't know what our opponent's playing, so... Our opponent is also mulliganed. Play Ponder. We find the Ink Moth. Okay. I think I'm into this. Pass the turn. Chrome Mox. Uh, what is this? Fable, Lotus Petal, so they're in the initiative? ay 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 can't seem to catch a break against these people. Season Dungeoneer. I'm going to force that. They have one card in their hand. Play the Ponder looking for a 10 drop. No such luck, we will shuffle. Another force. Pass the turn. They play a land. Is it crazy for me to think about waiting? I mean, I haven't seen a fetch land yet. Alright, I'll cast it. We did find a fetch. Third of the crop rotation and force will number three. Play the Pluto Delta. Search out a basic. Let's get in there. They don't know that we're the Blazing Shoal version, so this makes us look like traditional, in fact. Ancient Tomb and they pass. Another Brainstorm. Cast it. No such luck. We'll put back the other Ink Moth and another Brainstorm. Play the Fetch Land. We will activate the Fetch Land. Grab the Basic. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed the Basic. That might have been foolish. Like, they're playing an Initiative deck. So if I hit them, I would have gained the Initiative and gotten that Basic for free. So, a slight misplay on my part. They have two cards. Try another Brainstorm. We'll put back two lands. Animate the Ink Moth. And let's go to combat. I have a bad feeling that they have, like, Solitude right now. Swing. Pass the turn. Cavern of Souls. Name Elemental. So they definitely have the, um, whatever it's called. The Solitude. Like, 100%. Uh, maybe I was supposed to hold the crop rotation for Sajiri Step. I might have just thrown. I wasn't even thinking about Sajiri Step to play around Solitude, and I put it in the deck list. Most deck lists don't even have a Sajiri Step in there. Okay. Going the beatdown way. Swing, swing. Here comes the Solitude. Yep. Hopefully they don't have two. So they attack. I'll go to 15. Oh my, we actually drew it. So the question is, do they have another Solitude? They have two cards in hand. Swing. Before damage, Blazing Shoal. I could have had crop rotation back up, but I kind of threw that. Touch the spirit realm? Oh, I can't counter that. Wow. I cannot counter that. Oh, so brutal. Wow. Just devastating. We'll animate the ink moth. Swing. Yeah, I threw by wasting the crop rotation. I guess I'll force the Archon. All right, so we're another Blazing Shoal away at this point. Swing. They attack, I'll go to five. They play a land. They have two cards remaining. Ponder. So, Crop Rotation would win this the old-fashioned way. So I think I'm going to take the Brainstorm here. Let's Brainstorm. I mean, I don't need the Pact Indigation. That can go back. So I'm going to go to four. Crop Rotation. Get rid of... Tropical. Go grab another Ink Moth. Animate. Swing. They have eight poison. We're at four life. They have another Solitude. Okay, we were never going to beat that. Brutal. Touch the Spirit Realm. Okay, so we probably want Force of Vigor. And Needle stops Touch the Spirit Realm. 
Fact of negation is kind of dead here. So we can board that out. Maybe only one needle. Like, it only hits Touch to the Spirit Realm, which is usually a two of. Yeah, there's only two copies of Touch to the Spirit Realm. If I didn't throw with the crop rotation there, we'd probably win that game. I don't know. I say probably because, like, I don't know for certain. Our opponent might not have played the Solitude if I didn't commit a second creature. Misty. Grab an island. Let's play Ponder. I think I'm going to shuffle this. Pass. City of Traders into Chalice of the Void. Yep. We draw another one drop. Not ideal. We'll play the Blighted Agent. They play Plateau. All right. All I can do is beat down. Two poison. They have a second land. Gaze. Not a terrible draw. Swing, swing. They're up to four poison now. I'm going to allow this to resolve. So if I actually... Never mind. Maybe that was a punt. I was going to say if I drew a... A... I mean, a red spell, I'd have the win with Daze backup, but I can't play two spells in a turn. That's actually not even true. Maybe I was supposed to Daze the Archon. I might have just been a big throw. They leave the Archon back. Going for one. And step the Solitude Exiling Swords to Plowshares. So there's a Chalice of the Void on one in play. I cannot crop rotation for Sajiri step. I'll get rid of a Ponder. I think if I'm able to draw a Force of Vigor... I want both crop rotations. Fourth arrow lingas for two. So they're playing around days. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to come back here. There's the 10 mana red spell. So I guess if I naturally drew Sajiri step, that would be our out. Okay. Seasoned Dungeoneer. I'm going to daze this. Because they would have to tap their ancient tomb and that would take them off of... Um, card I got blown up. Uh, Touch the spirit realm. Okay, they are now the initiative, or they have the initiative. I'm at 12. Next turn, they're swinging for at least 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Another Blazing Shoal. That doesn't actually help me. They forge onto one of their knight tokens. They swing. They reveal a Chrome Mox, so they successfully explore. They would have had lethal if they attacked with the Archon, but they're choosing to play it safe. That said, another initiative creature just kills me in post-combat anyway. And that'll do. So we did not get the 5-0 trophy, unfortunately. My punt in game one cost us at least a game. And then this game, I kind of just got crushed. So, unfortunate. Uh, play better. I mean, I shouldn't have forgotten about crop rotation into Sajiri step as an out to solitude. Oh well, uh, hopefully you still enjoyed the video. I mean, I think a 4-1 with this deck is still really sweet. Hopefully you think so too, I guess. I don't know. Maybe you enjoyed part of it. Who knows? But thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. And as always, keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. There's no better way to support our channel. If you're interested in elevating your combo game, visit theepicsworm.com slash tutoring for details about our coaching sessions. Don't worry, there's more great combo content coming right up.